GM, GM, wonderful friends. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Cucho, I'm grateful to do this one. This is actually, I don't even have to say probably. This is definitely your favorite NFT project of all time. We are talking about Artifact. And we're going to start at the history of it because a lot of people don't know that they've been around since 2020, different times. And in Web3, that feels like centuries ago. So Cucho, why don't you start us off? Hope you're having a great day. And I'm grateful to do this with you, my buddy. Yeah, GM button. Really excited to talk about this. So yeah, let's dive in. These are the three founders behind Artifact. Uh, they were, so on the left, you can ignore her. Yeah, this is the CNBC correspondent. But uh, let's talk about the founders. We got on the left, we got Benito. Benito has a background uh, working for a lot of um, high-end fashion brands like LVMH and then got actually into the e-sports industry and for one of the most established teams fanatic he had one of the lead roles uh, and then in the in the center we got Zaptio or z z has a background in like the customer a custom sneaker business he built up like his own couple of custom sneaker brands and then on the right we got uh Clegg effects or chris chris has his background in 3d design and he's very known for uh, designing uh, skins for Counter-Strike, for example. I think he was one of the most popular Counter-Strike designers. And also what not many people know, he also has a background in films. Um, he actually directed like a few films himself. And so how you can tell, like all three have very unique backgrounds, but also you know, they have a lot of things in common, like a passion for fashion and gaming. And so those three came together and started to create some magic together. Uh, Button, any thoughts on the on the team and their skills? Well, yeah, I mean, beyond their experience background, I believe they have international, uh, they're, they're from different countries as well. So it, it really provides a variety of perspectives on what is the best move for them as they're building this uh, digital fashion brand called Artifact, which is really one of the best success stories of any NFT project by far. A hundred percent. And so let's talk about how they started. So they create like these digital assets, right? That's the, the idea. And how they first got traction is they created these AR videos on social media platforms like TikTok, IG, built up a huge following. And then one of their biggest milestones was um, that they actually created a, a, like a cyber sneaker then they created this image, which made it look like Elon Musk was actually wearing the cyber sneaker at the Met Gala. And this image went really viral. So you can see here, it was featured with complex sneakers and you could actually see it all over. And, and people were confused, like, hey, was he actually wearing those or not? And most people thought they were. So it just really uh, told them like, hey, we're onto something. And even though this wasn't real, right? He wasn't wearing that them, but it got so much attention. So it kind of was real, right? Because a lot of people were thinking that he actually was. It's great guerrilla marketing. It's really genius on their team to put this together. And I mean, like you said, complex, shout out, like, holy cow, that's amazing. For sure. Yeah, and we're talking 2020 here, right? So super early. They actually turned the cyber sneaker into an NFT and it... Uh, yeah, well, it sold, I think, for quite a bit. And it was a one um, milestone that really put more attention to Artifact and the brand. And people could tell, like, oh, those guys are really doing some very innovative stuff. Something that's super important to them is also to empower artists in the space. And the, one of the first drops where they did that, it comes to mind, is the Favocious drop that they did. So, Button, tell us more about how that came about. Well, Fuocious is an incredible artist, very, very talented. And at this point, he's had multiple pieces go through large auction houses such as Christie's. And this is an amazing moment where Fuocious gets to design an artifact shoe. And these shoes were priced, I mean, quite expensive. You can see that they're starting at $3,000 all the way to $10,000. But the attention to detail is so amazing. And Fuocious really captured it. What happened when you purchased the shoe is you had the opportunity 
to forge it, which is essentially you are able to get the physical item for holding the NFT. And I have to say, I have seen uh, quite a few of those Fuosha shoes and the they are very high quality. Um, like I said, it is so amazing the, the amount of effort that Fuosha has put into the detail of them. And um, not only did it provide a physical, but you also got a digital version of the shoe that you could wear in the metaverse and Decentraland as you're running around and going to different virtual events. So it's a, it, I mean, they it, it came in swinging with the high prices, but if you look at the long-term of things, this ended up being a really great opportunity to get into the artifact ecosystem, which ha has paid off many dividends uh, to all the collectors. Yes. Yeah. And like you said, they, I mean, they raised a ton of money through this drop, right? But what the founders are most proud of with this drop is that, the empowerment of artists, right? They knew Favosius, you know, was wanted to design uh, his own sneakers and they empowered him to do exactly that. And so this is a theme. The artist empowerment is really a theme that you see, you know, when you follow the, the journey of Artifact even after that. Uh, this is another job that they did. It's, a, uh, it's called the Space Drips. So they provided like this Space Drip template and then they uh, partnered with 19 artists and what's really cool like a lot of these artists were like really small artists so they were as young as like 15 years old just starting out and uh, uh, you know artifact gave them the opportunity to uh, partner with them in creating their space trip design and then actually with with each space trip uh, came also a custom sneaker design uh, that each of the artists created. So really awesome to see how, you know, they uh, empower artists. Like they have their own category of NFTs, which is called the Artifact Creator NFTs. And so these are the, the NFTs where people from their community or other creators can partner with them to mint their own NFTs. But yeah, they... something else that was innovative was the Punks project. Um, tell us more about that one. So CryptoPunks are possibly one of the most well-recognized uh, NFTs out there um, for a PFP. And what they did is they set it up so that if you owned a CryptoPunk, you were able to mint uh, these, uh, these NFTs, which essentially provided you with a customized shoe based on the CryptoPunk that you own. So depending on like the colors that are used in your CryptoPunk, this is what the shoe ended up generating uh, or the look of the shoe. Uh, come together and what I've seen these shoes in real life as well. So you could, you would also get the physical uh, version of the shoe and they are stunning. I mean, like they, they are legit. And to think that each one is customized to the punk itself is a beautiful thing. Uh, they're all unique in their own way. It's a great flex when you're walking around a conference and people are like, Whoa, that means that this individual either had the punk at the time or possibly has the punk right now. It's an amazing, uh, it's an amazing project they put together. The mint price was 0.5, and only a few hundred ended up doing it. Considering there's 10,000 crypto punks, very, very small percentage. And uh, at this point, uh, those shoes, if you see them, they're 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 a very special moment because they are that rare. So uh, keep an eye out. I'm definitely always looking for those shoes when I go to any NFT conference. Yeah, well, imagine you've got like the alien sneaker. I mean, that one, what a what a flex, right? But yeah, if Absolutely. you do have it, I highly recommend not wearing it. Like that, it's definitely one to to stock and not to wear. Uh, but yeah, awesome project. And they were early, right? Right now, we see more um, of these like one of one fashion items being created based on the NFTs. But like this was early 2021, so Artifact was really one of the first in pioneering um, this type of drop. Um, the next one we got to talk about was the Jeff Staple collab that they did. I mean, Jeff Staple is one of the OG sneaker designers. Really, he's really uh, one of the designers that really helped to start the entire sneaker movement. And if you know something about him is that the symbol he always likes to use is the pigeon, also as you know, representing his background in New York. And in the collab with Artifact, they said, hey, you know, let's bring the pigeon into the metaverse. And so what they did is they created three designs, two sneakers, and then um, the meta pigeon that you can see in the center. Uh, and all three of those really have became like very iconic NFTs in the, uh, in the NFT space. Um, 
especially if you look at the meta pigeon that one it's sold is an addition of a hundred sold for one dollar but all the value that uh, collectors got uh, from this nft since then has really been immense so amazing you know value creation from artifact and jeff staple as well uh, for the collectors yeah these these are just like those crypto punks you see these shoes out and about you're like wow ultimate flex i mean they're they're so limited and uh it also demonstrates that they got the nft which clone x they're they're really well put together when it comes to planning and utilizing the blockchain to reward collectors participants and for every single nft that we just showed uh previously you were able to mint for each one three mint vials which we'll show right here for just the the small price of 0.05 and 0.05 ETH, which would later enable you to reveal it to get one of their avatars, one of their PFPs um, from their famous Clonex project, uh, which we, it, there's so much involved in that. It really deserves its own uh, video. And I can't wait to talk about the details of it. But dude, mint vials, 0.05. I know Kucho was very excited to mint as many as he possibly could. And it definitely... Uh, it's changed people's lives, man. When you think about like the value, I mean, 0.05 for a mint vial current floor is around five to six ETH for a, for a PFP for a clone X. I mean, that's a hundred X, dude. That's amazing uh, value that people were able to create from collecting their original pieces. Yeah, I mean, Artifact, yeah, they did so much. They're really pioneers in the space. And like you said, we can't just grab everything in one video. So we're actually going to do a second one where we talk about the second part of their journey as a brand from Clonex to Nike acquisition and everything else that they've done since then. So stay tuned for the second part. Um, make sure, like, and subscribe the video. It really helps us out to bring more eyes to the content we're creating. And uh, shout out to all the HODL fam out there tuning in. Cheers, everyone. Later.